Hey guys, Matt with CJ Off-Road here. Today what we've got on the table is going to be the Rough Country Front LED Mesh Grill fitting your 15 to 17 Ford F-150. Now what I really like about this kit is that it does black out the entire front end of your F-150 and really give you a nice usable LED up front there. This one does come with a cover too, so when you're not in use, you can cover it up and stay legal on roads. It also comes with your harness, a front camera mount if you do have a front camera, as well as all the bracketry and even some noise dampening pads that go on the back of the light bar so you don't hear the whistling sound. With that being said guys, we're going to get this installed on our 2016 F-150 behind me, get this light bar wired up to our Rough Country multiple light controller, and show you how to get everything done. Let's get started. Alright guys, so as you can see, we do have an aftermarket front grill here, but the removal process is going to be exactly the same if you do have a stock grill. First thing we're going to do is grab our panel removal tool and move, remove the push pins on the top of this upper radiator cover as well as these two on the side wings so we can get this removed to get to our shutter assembly and get started with the install. Basically with these what we're doing is just removing the center piece and pulling it up and then going underneath it and pulling the rest out as one piece. Those will be reused for later so make sure you keep a hold of them. Once you have all of them removed, you can pull this up at the front and remove the upper rad cover and set that aside, we will be reinstalling it. In order to remove our old grill, we've got to first disconnect our shutter assembly up front by pushing in the tabs and pulling the clips up towards us. There should be only two, even if you do have the front facing camera. The next thing we're going to do is pull these two push pins off of the side using our trim removal tool and then there's going to be four 10 millimeter bolts holding this down from the top, which we're going to remove right now. Now the next thing we need to do is remove the wings up front here. Well, we don't need to pull them all the way off, especially if you have fender flares because they will catch. Basically gonna grab it here, grab it at the bottom, pull it straight out towards you. I'm gonna be careful of this. And just go ahead and pull it out like that. And all we need to do is there's an eight millimeter behind here and also another push pin. We're gonna use our trim removal tool to push the push pin out and then the eight mil at the bottom and get those out on both sides. Now the bolt down below holding the grill on is gonna be an eight mil where you're gonna use our impact with an extension. Now with all that removed, we're gonna remove our entire grill and go over onto the table where we can pull this front part out and start installing our Rough Country grill. Go ahead and just pick it straight up. I did forget there was one push pin here holding on the wiring harness. So go ahead and grab that. And then we should be able to remove the entire thing. So as you have your grill at this point, you can see we've got the grill facing down and this is our shutter system. We've got to get the factory or aftermarket grill off of our shutter system so we can get the Rough Country grill in its place. Now on the side here, you're going to have two 10 millimeter nuts holding it on to the front. That's going to be two on each side. And then the side towards me, you're actually going to have these push pins, which we're going to remove also. Make sure you retain all your hardware. And if you do have a factory grill, there'll be another one right here in the middle. Ours did not utilize it, so you don't need to worry about that but we're gonna go ahead and use a 10 mil and get these pulled off. Once you have those pulled off, we're going to use a trim panel removal tool. I'm actually going to spin this grill around to show you. As you can see on the top part of your grill, you're going to have one, two, three, four of these push pins. You're going to go ahead and just pull the center section away from it. And then you can get underneath it and pull the entire thing out. You have to get this to a certain point though, and then the whole thing will pull out. Definitely set these aside, we will be reusing them. And we're also gonna pull off these underneath. These are only on the aftermarket grill, so you don't have to worry about these.
and they can be sometimes a pain to get off. So we'll work on this a little bit to get it removed. At this point, we should be able to separate it. As you can see, we've now got it apart. So we can set our aftermarket or stock grill aside and we can start working on this one. All right guys, so what we've got here is the steel mesh front grill plate and there is a two piece part to this. Now what we did is we laid the front down on this piece of cardboard as to not scratch it. And then you're gonna really follow the instructions closely on which ones to put bolts in. These are gonna use the shorter bolts with the nut on the back side. And then we do have the ones open here that are gonna require the brackets. Like I said, it's gonna be pretty hard to see here which ones we did. The instructions do a good job of pointing out to which ones. Make sure what we did was we counted actually and said bolt, 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 bracket, and then we kind of counted through. So make sure you do that when you're putting them on. Tighten these all up using a 5 16th Allen key and a 10 millimeter socket on the back. And now what we're gonna do is go ahead and grab all the brackets and show you where those go. Use the longer bolts that come in here and get all those tightened down. There is a ton of bolts, guys, but don't get overwhelmed. Just take it nice and slow, and if you have a friend come over and get it, you'll be able to do it nice and quick. All right, guys, this is the orientation and the location of all the brackets that you'll need besides the light bar bracket. Now, this is the top of the grill, and this is the bottom. So just take a look at this in the next like 10 seconds, and you can even pause the video right here and see exactly what you need to do. These two angle towards the inside. These are gonna face towards the inside, and then the brackets down here actually go to a little bit outside the grill. And these ones, you can see, go towards the bottom. So now that we have them all in the right location, we're gonna go ahead and use our same tools to get these tightened up. So guys, if you are installing a light bar, these are the two brackets you're gonna to need to install that. The hardware for the light bar to attach it is going to be in the box in a small separate box that uses their universal mounts. Just go ahead and grab the black Allen key bolt. And then what you wanna to wanna to do is tighten that down all the way onto here, and then you can get the standard Allen keys that come with the rest of this kit and tighten down the sides here. Overall though, that does give it a nice curve once you install the light bar. You can see it's gonna match the contour of the grill. So we're gonna go ahead and get the shutter system up here and get everything reattached to what we pulled off. All right guys, so I know it looks like we skipped a lot ahead, but basically what we did is installed all the brackets to the factory locations using the long Allen head bolts. Now I will recommend too, leaving your brackets a little bit loose, that way you can move them and adjust them accordingly. We did have some of these bottom ones, two here and the outside ones were a little bit off, but if you loosen them up a little bit, you can maneuver them, get them into the location and then put them on. Also work from the center outwards as you can get it tightened down here, push this down, tighten it down, and then on the outside, you'll have to push it down a lot more to make sure that it goes on. But overall, it's not that bad. Now what we're gonna do now is we've got the light bar installed, we've got all these also bolted up. We're gonna go ahead and tighten everything down here, get it back onto the truck, and then wire it up, show you guys how it looks. Okay guys, we've got it all back into place here. Now what we need to do is just reconnect everything we removed from the beginning. We're gonna start with our shutter assembly right here, reconnect those plugs. And then we're gonna go across the top and reattach those four bolts that we pulled out. I like to keep everything in one location, that way we don't lose anything at the end. We're gonna go ahead and use a 10 mil, get all four of those on, tighten the two down below, put these back into their push pins, and then we can put the wings back on. We'll wire this up and show you how it looks. Okay guys, so what we did here is we basically just went in the reverse step, utilized all the factory hardware that we pulled out in the beginning. Now I will remind you that none of that hardware that we pulled off of our aftermarket grill or what would be your stock grill, we had to reuse on this. Came with all brand new stainless steel Allen key hardware. And then what we did, instead of using the entire harness, which you can, you can actually use this, run it right into your cab and it comes with a nice on off switch that you can run right to your battery. We actually opted a little bit ago to install a Rough Country MLC6 system into this F-150. Now with that, the only thing we need to do is chop the end of that off and run a positive and negative right to our first switch. We can throw the cover back on and then hop inside the vehicle and just turn on that switch and we're ready to go. The nice part about that is you can basically take all of this and just throw it right into the trash. You don't need any of it and you can go right here without having to go all the way inside your cab. So if you wanna check that install video out, you can check that out as well. Well guys, you can see we finished up this installation. Our light bar is working. We're gonna have plenty of light down the trail. Plus I really like how it integrates it right into the front grill. Now, if your truck came with a front chrome grill and you wanted to start blacking it out, this is a great way to do it and also add some utility with the addition of this light bar. Overall, this kit includes everything that you need to get it installed, and the best part is that you don't need to modify any of your shutter system behind here. It all simply bolts on. With that being said, if you want to check this product out, be sure to visit cjponyparts.com, as well as you can check out that multiple light controller for your off-road rig to really make wiring a breeze. And if you guys are wondering where our front bumper is, make sure you stay tuned to our off-road page. We're going to be replacing that here very shortly. Until next time, guys, I hope you guys are having fun and staying safe, and I'll see you out on the trail.